In this video, I'll talk about 3 stocks to buy and hold forever. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's head into it. Stock number 1. Starbucks Starbucks is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, making the company the same age as Southwest Airlines and Walt Disney World. Since going public in 1992, Starbucks has been through its fair share of market turbulence, from the dot-com bubble burst, to the Great Recession, to the pandemic-induced crash of a spring 2020. Through it all, the company has found a way to emerge stronger and more valuable over time. In fact, its quarter 3 fiscal year 2021 sales and net income figures show its business has largely rebounded from last year's declines. Even within striking distance of an all-time high, there's a lot to like about Starbucks stock going forward. Limited to curbside pickup and drive through access through the pandemic, customers were encouraged to adopt mobile ordering and become Starbucks Rewards members. Ordering ahead and gaining rewards makes it easier to increase the frequency of visits and spend more money per visit. It also makes it easier to customize drinks, which is one way Starbucks separates itself from the competition makes customers happy, and makes more money. Active Starbucks Rewards members are now 24 million, growing 8% from the pre-pandemic figures. Starbucks Rewards-related spending makes up of over half of all total US spending, making it one of the most successful rewards program in America. Furthermore, nearly 75% of transactions now occur via drive through or mobile ordering for in-store or curbside pickup. The lesson here is that the company continues to find ways to make its customer experience better. It's a win-win situation that saves customers time, lets them get the exact drink they want, and allows them to accumulate rewards. In turn, growing Starbucks' top and bottom lines. With a loyal customer base and plenty of room to continue expanding internationally, Starbucks is a stock worth buying and holding forever. Stock number 2. Alphabet if I have to make a lifeline commitment to a stock, it's got to be Google's parent Alphabet. It may well be the perfect forever company. Think about it. Brick and mortar retailers are being made obsolete by the internet. Fossil fuels are falling out of favor thanks to renewables. Gas powered automobiles are being replaced by electric vehicles. These aging companies can try to pivot into a new way of doing things. But as names like Ford and Macy's can attest, pivoting from outdated approaches to new ones is difficult. Alphabet's massive web search business isn't ever likely to run into the obsolescence or failed pivot problem. That's not to suggest how we browse the internet won't evolve over time. I just can't ever envision a time when we won't want to simply type in a few keywords and be pointed in the right direction, and in that Google's global search market share is north of 90%. I also can't envision a time when it's not the go-to search engine. In the quarter 2 2021 investor letter, the fund highlighted a few stocks and Alphabet Incorporated is one of them. Alphabet Incorporated is a technology company. In the last three months, Alphabet stock gained 18%. Shares of Alphabet were up in the quarter given continued recovery in ad spending, strong cloud revenue growth, and improved cost controls. Alphabet's total revenue grew 32%, beating the street's estimate of 25%, with search revenues up 30%, YouTube revenue up 49%, and total cloud revenue up 46%, with Google Cloud Platform growing much faster. Moreover, Google's operating margins expanded over a thousand basis points from 19% to just under 30%. That said, perhaps the coolest part about owning Alphabet is, unlike the aforementioned Ford and Macy's, Alphabet has already shown us the willingness and capacity to evolve. It didn't own Android. It saw that mobile was becoming. It didn't own YouTube. It saw what online video was becoming. Not every for-profit corporation is built to add new businesses that complement its existing ones so well. Stock number 3. Airbnb. Growth-focused companies often start out delivering innovative new products and solutions that can help them achieve market dominance. However, after a certain point, the size of the company discourages it from taking on new innovation initiatives because they aren't capable of moving the needle significantly or because they're simply not cost-effective. Even worse, pushing into innovative new categories and products might take away from the company's core revenue streams. Business theorist and innovation expert Clayton Christensen dubbed this dynamic the innovator's dilemma and went on to describe the issue in depth in his hugely successful book of the same name. Airbnb has already had a disruptive impact on the travel and hospitality industries, with the company sporting a market capitalization of roughly $97 billion. It's not unreasonable to wonder whether this growth stock still has room to run, or if it'll settle into less impressive performance. Will Airbnb bump up against the innovator's dilemma as it expands? Sure. However, I think the vacation rental platform is positioned to go the distance and deliver stellar returns for investors who buckle in for the long haul. 
Despite the company's incredibly successful run since its founding in 2008, Airbnb is likely still in the early stages of reshaping the travel industry. Management's recent push into combining accommodations bookings with ticket sales to local experiences and events also showed that the company isn't afraid to branch out and pursue new growth opportunities. Airbnb's business will mature and growth will likely slow at some point. However, most signs point to it being a fantastically run company with an expanding competitive advantage and I think the stock could deliver stellar returns over the long term. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. With that, I'll see you in the next video.